Hello everybody, today we are going to be talking about big city problems and what I mean by that is trash, death care, electricity, water, as well as running out of nodes. So built into the game are some hard limits when it comes to cars, lanes, nodes, segments, and utilizing a mod called the Extended Managers Library, you actually have access to this by hitting Control L. And so what it does is it pops up this little window, and what this little window shows is those hard limits. And so you can see just by looking at it, there are a few, so like 81 areas, we've unlocked them all because we have the 81 tiles, but then all the way up here, you can see this orange one, and this orange one is net nodes. And so what that means is we are running out of nodes and so in order to continue this city what we need to do is try to problem solve this there's a couple ways that you can go about this we can go through and delete like random roads like this that don't have a purpose and what this will do is it'll give us a little bit of roads but as you can see this is not very large and so we could go through the whole city trying to find little things that we could just delete maybe even like all the way out here we could get rid of these segments but there's actually a really easy fix for this and it is all of your electricity transmission lines as well as your water pipes so what we're gonna do, we are going to pull up our water pipes. We're gonna draw a little segment across, go into move it mod, and I'm gonna grab this marquee selection tool. I'm gonna grab the picker and I'm gonna grab the, the segment in the middle of that. And so now I'm gonna zoom all the way out and I'm going to use this marquee tool to select all of the water pipe segments. Then once I have them all, I can come all the way down here. And this is something that is very taxing for your city. It may give you a little bit of a hard time if you do have a large city like this one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, and delete that them all. all right so all of our water pipes are deleted now we can go into options and we can find our 81 tiles too and we want to make sure that this is checked enable water sewage heating transmission without pipes and so if you're having issues with this, um, one of the things you can do, I had it checked already before we deleted the water pipes. I mean, you can close the game and then restart it. But honestly, I haven't had any issues with it. You do end up having a little bit of a brownout for a second. So it even looks like we're not even going to get a brownout. But every now and then you will get your whole city to kind of turn brown before the mod kind of picks it up. And again, if you're having issues with that, go ahead and save with that option enabled in the 81 tiles too. And then reload it and it will work properly. And so now if we come all the way back up here again, we can see that we have freed up quite a bit of nodes we have freed up about 4,000 5,000 nodes which is quite a bit we can actually keep expanding the city quite a ways now and so going into our other issues I'm gonna go ahead and click this which is our notification icons and you can see we have quite a bit of issues in our city and power is one of them garbage is a huge one so let's actually check out our power so our power is kind of fluctuating because we're on the low side right now and we don't have any um, heated water pipes so I think we may even upgrade those today as well but I really wanna work on our waste and our power. And so whenever your city gets really large, you become a little more susceptible to changes in your environment like that, the temperature going all the way down, your electricity spikes, and this can actually spike by quite a bit too. It's probably like a, in a city like this, 500 to 700 megawatt range. And so, but just by placing down the water pipes, you can really help to kind of buffer this or you can just build more power plants, which we're gonna be doing today. But let's go ahead and look at our trash. So our trash is the big issue in this city. You can kind of see we have red buildings down here. We have a bunch of red in here in our downtown. And a lot of this just has to do with proximity to the nearest waste transfer facility. So we have one up there. We have one down here, one down here. We have one over here. There's some issues over here as well. And I, I think this one is related to access. We don't have any access from this side to this side currently because we're having so many traffic issues. So these trucks have to drive all the way around, which causes them to have a little bit of a delay. And so what you can do is identify certain areas within your city to expand and build new either recycle centers or waste transfer facilities. With the waste transfer facilities, you do want to be careful though because you definitely don't want to overtax your waste processing complexes. You typically want to stick to about four to five waste transfer facilities per waste processing complex because otherwise you start getting into some issues where they just don't send out trucks, which is something that we do have in the city. So like that one's sending out nine, we can come up over here, we got one right here. So like this one's only sending out one and it has 0%, it has no trash in it. And so this is definitely an issue that we're gonna have. What I'm thinking is we're going to add in a couple really large waste transfer facilities. I, I think I wanna add in one over here. I've been kind of eyeballing this area for a little bit. And I think this would be a fantastic location for us to put in just a really cool large 
waste transfer facility. I haven't done one that's fully detailed. I've seen a lot of other creators do them and I think they're really fun builds. My favorite one in particular is by a creator called Few Candy. She did a waste transfer or recycle center quite a while ago. Definitely worth checking out. I'm going to go ahead and link the video in the description if anybody's interested. First thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and pause since we're going to be deleting some stuff and we are going to delete this road all the way around. These people are taking this route right now because it's a one way. And so we are going to delete this road as well. We're going to go ahead and delete all of this going all the way around. Going to delete that. Let's delete this. And then what I'm thinking is we'll create a little bit of a better space for these warehouses as well as that postal service. Let's come down here and utilizing a small two unit one lane road. What we're going to do is basically mimic this other side. So we'll go all the way up here and then let's go ahead and turn that in now. Go like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to go like that. Let's go ahead and flip it around now. And then we should be able to just grab these and move them. And these are our commercial zone goods and it looks like a flower warehouse. And so let's go ahead and move this into a better location as well. Let's maybe move this down here and then let's move the post office as well. So let's move the post office like right. And I don't really like that location. What are these buildings? Oh, so these are services right there. So let's move the post office just to the other side. There you go. And so what that does is it really helps to free up a lot of space in here. And so we can go ahead and hit play, let all these trucks kind of figure themselves out. Now we can go ahead and hit pause again and let's get back to our road. And so I do want to utilize a larger road in here. And what I'm thinking is probably one of these ones with little lines in the middle, just because I think the aesthetic appeal is going to be a little bit nicer. So if we grab this and go all the way out, and then if we grab this, come up here, what we can do is curve this in, just make it into a nice clean connection. So we'll go like this. And then I really want to do a pretty extensive one in here. I want it to look really cool. I want it to be really functional. And so what I'm thinking, let's actually, maybe let's move this one more back. So if we move this road and come all the way back here, I think it's going to provide a little, just a little bit more room for us. Because in that way, we don't have to worry about being kind of cramped in here. Remember, this is going to be a really large facility. All right, so what we're going to do is utilizing the curve tool, we are going to bring this this way. Then we are going to go straight. And then let's go ahead and curve it again. We're going to come up this way and then we're going to come up this way. Let's actually shorten that curve. Just well, Actually, you know what? That's good. So we'll go like this. And then what we're going to do is go straight again. And what I want to do is create an area where people could actually come and drop off their trash. And I really want this to look pretty realistic. And so my goal is to really take this to the next level and uh, create something that's really fun in here. I'm actually really excited about this. I've been kind of playing around with this for a while. And then what I'm going to do is actually upgrade the middle section to a two unit road because I really want to get some scales in here. I want it to look um, realistic like what I was saying. And so I do have a little security gate for this area. And so what I'm thinking is we will plop down two of these and then let's get out of this little menu and use the move it mod to kind of shift these around a bit. So I want this to cover both lanes on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is have it just cover one lane on the other. So we'll go like this and then we will probably turn this building just a bit and then have it connect up like right here and cover one lane. We could probably get away with like right there. Yeah, that's actually pretty good right there. And so I'll probably end up coming through with decals and stuff in here and I really want to get some scales. I have a really cool scale decal. Really fun. So if I turn on prop anarchy, then I'm able to place these down and just make it look a little more realistic. A lot of times decals can go a long ways to make your builds just look a little more real. And so on this side, you would have a return scale and these would be for like big trucks where they you, you typically pay by the pound for these this type of service. And so you'd come and you'd weigh and then you'd drop and you'd weigh again and then they would charge you for the difference. And then there's also a bypass lane for maybe cars who are just paying a flat fee. And so we'd turn around and then up here, what I'm thinking is we're gonna do a warehouse. So we'll grab a warehouse and we wanna find one that has two bays that looks a little bit better. I'm actually thinking maybe this one right here. So if we grab this, yeah, I think this is gonna be a good option. And then let's go ahead and copy that because I want to cover up that backside, but I also wanna have the two exits on that backside as well. So I think if we just bring these this way, it's gonna look a little bit better. And then what I'm gonna do is actually convert those into procedural objects so that we don't have to worry about them getting services or anything. And then it also allows us to kind of drop this one down and get rid of those lines a little bit. I want it to be the same color. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this until I can get it the same color as the other one. All right, and so now that we have that, let's go ahead and bring our road back. We can actually delete just a little section of this. And what I wanna do is create two lanes in here. So let's turn on snapping on this so that we can keep it straight. And then let's go back to our one unit road. We're going to utilize a one way and we are going to turn this off. So we'll go this way and then have it turn in and then we're gonna have it go through the building 
And then let's go ahead and create a secondary one as well. Let's turn off snapping. Let's go like this, bring it around and then line it up and then have it go through the building again. We'll go like that. And then I think I'm actually going to downgrade this to this other road because I don't like that line in there. I think it's kind of unnecessary. So we'll go like this, bring it all the way down. Perfect. And then we do need to kind of play around with this just to uh, clean this up a bit. This does not look great. We are going to also get rid of all of the crosswalks in here. That's just not going to be practical for this area. And I think with the overall decals and everything, it's going to look a lot better without them. So we'll get rid of all of these. We'll get rid of these. Come over here, get rid of these ones. And so we do need to have access going through the plant as well. So what I'm thinking is we're going to utilize a rural road. So we'll come all the way over to rural and we'll grab this two lane country road and we are going to branch it off from like right here. We'll have it come down. Let's go ahead and turn off snapping so we can get close to that road again. So we'll grab a two unit road and we'll make it a one way and we want it to go like right about here. We want it to be parallel with this road. It will go like that. And then let's go ahead and flip this around and go into our one unit road now. And then let's go ahead and connect these up and connect it up. Perfect. What we can then do is grab this one and connect it up right there as well. And then let's go ahead and fix up this node real quick. Okay, so I cleaned it up a little bit. I may still play around with that just a bit. And so let's go back to this road now and we want this to come all the way down here and connect up with another road. I'm thinking probably about like right here. Go like this, perfect. And then that even leaves a little bit of room for us to kind of add in some other things. So my hope is to get like a garbage dump for an incineration. I wanna have storage. I wanna have like a, you know, abandoned car lot, like maybe a, where the people can come through and drop off their cars to be crushed or recycled or something like that. And then I also got a bunch of assets off of the Steam Workshop for a big recycle center. It is this uh, like Sunset Harbor kind of recycle facility. It's actually really cool. So what I'm gonna do is place down all of these buildings now just so that we can kind of look at them and then we'll need to play around with them and see which ones fit, which ones do we need. I think we're gonna go for all of them. So if we go like that, what I'm thinking is we'll grab this. Let's go ahead and put this over here. I wanna grab the main building and put it right in the middle and we're gonna do some trucks and stuff and really make this all look fantastic. And so before we do that, let's actually level all this out. So if we grab all of our stuff, let's go ahead and put it to a node down here. Yeah, I think that that'll be okay. We're definitely a little, little off, but what we can do is just kind of level out the rest of it to make it look a little more natural rather than having all these hills everywhere. So I think we will go ahead and shift all these around until we get like a nice clean look for it. Maybe this one up front, well, maybe this one in the back. So we'll grab this, have it come this way. And I want to leave room for roads to be able to come through here as well. I, I think that that's going to be an important aspect of this. So if we grab this, we should be able to, let's go ahead and put this one over here. And then that way what we can do is go back to our rural road, grab this, and then have this kind of drive around and go through all these buildings, which is going to be pretty important for us to have this access. So if we grab this, have it come through here, go like this. Let's go ahead and connect this up in the middle as well. We'll go like that, connect this up down here. And then it looks like we need to shift this building a little bit forward. So if we go like that, and then it looks like we need to connect this building up too. So let's grab our road and then turn, and then we'll come down this way and then connect this up. And then I do wanna get one of our waste transfer facilities over here as well. So I'm thinking we'll probably put it like right here. Yeah, I think that that'll be good. We are a little bit tight on this side. I feel like we definitely could have been a little more to the right. So I'm just gonna grab all of these using the move it mod. I don't need to grab that one. Let's go ahead and shift it over. Yeah, we'll go like right there. And then that way we can go ahead and re replace all these roads. Yeah, I think this is gonna be much better. All right, and so now we can grab this, bring it down, connect it up, probably go like right there. And then we can grab this as well, just kind of shift it over a little bit to create a little bit more space for our poor uh, waste transfer facility right here. We may even place this right here. I don't know, I may redraw in that first little section. And so what I wanna do, we'll end up grabbing our dirt road and I wanna have, I'm thinking our incineration facility right here. And so we will create a little bit of a loop around. We don't need it to be too big, just enough for us to place down some buildings. And so if I go into trash, I have one of my newer buildings in here. We're going to go like this and we're actually going to turn this into procedural object as well. And then we're going to go into find it and let's search up garbage, get out of vanilla and let's find these piles. Yeah. So we want to place these down. All right. And so basically what I'm going to do is place all these down. I'm going to do some decals. 
I'm going to play around with these roads a little bit. I wanna make these look a little bit better than what they do. I think I made this a little bit too big. But then I'm gonna do storage in here for people who are maybe dropping off bigger items than can fit inside this warehouse. I'm gonna do some truck storage. I'm gonna do a lot of decals. I really wanna get some cracked lines in here. And then I'm gonna do another really big storage back here with some retaining walls. I wanna do some uh, tractors. We'll probably end up doing some more um, truck facilities in here. I really want to move all this over and kind of move this. I wanna be able to put something else in here. Maybe even expand this out a little bit further, kind of free up some space. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done real quick. Okay, so I definitely went a little bit crazier than I was anticipating. I you know, started on one thing and then I was like, you know what, I wanna make it look as real as I can. And so you can see all these trucks coming out now. I did end up shifting a couple of these around. So I shifted our entrance a little bit to the right as I wanted to create a little more space on this side. I really wanted to get this in here. I wanted to kind of spread these out rather than having them all kind of bunched in together so that we could kind of fit in these roads a little bit better. I did end up doing those walls with another little storage facility back here. I put in some decals on the bottom just to kind of clean it up. Put in these decals over here for the sand. I did cracks and stuff going all the way through. Did cracks back here. I did um, tread marks on the roads. I ended up doing like a little abandoned park, like a little abandoned car area with some little crushers. And then back here, I ended up doing a little bit larger of an area than I was uh, initially planning, but I think it looks really good. I did some little dump trucks. There's even a little conveyor belt area. And then overall, I think this looks really good. I did barriers. I ended up doing some little custom storage over here. So I ended up building all these. I did this these glass decals with some of these lines and everything. I did the lines going across with the walls and then I did these little storage bins. So like if anybody has anything too large to kind of fit in these warehouses, what they would do is turn down here and then kind of fill these up or dump them in here. I really wanted to do like a wood storage as well or um, like foliage and stuff like that, trees, but I really couldn't find a whole lot of props in order to get it done right. And so I decided against it. And then I did um, like truck storage in here. Here's the little scales that I was talking about. So I did little uh, like don't block um, decals in here, a little bit of a wall in there. And I think this looks really good. I, I did end up doing a little bit of trees. I wanna kind of put in a couple more trees in here. So like I think some young lindens would probably look good on this little middle row. So if we grab these and go to the young lindens, yeah, if we go like right there, I think that that looks pretty good. Then we can do the same thing on the other side. I'm not sure if that'll still work on the load, but we'll see. Overall though, I think this is a really cool area. I'm glad that I put as much time into it as I did. I think it looks really cool. And so now this really should help out with our garbage quite a bit. I don't think it's gonna solve the problem, but it's definitely gonna help out a lot. We still do have quite a bit of garbage issues. Like we need to come through and probably place a few more throughout our city. It's so like if we back out, we can kind of see where some of these clusters are. So we have that big one right there. We have a couple big ones over here. It'd be really smart for us to get one over here somewhere. All right, so I think what we're gonna do for this area is just demolish a whole little row and create a little sh little waste transfer facility. It's gonna kind of suck having it right in the middle of this, but because it is a downtown, I don't think it's going to destroy anything. So we'll go ahead and place that right there and let's um, get rid of these trees. We'll probably do some trees around just to create a little bit of space in here. So if we raise this up just a little bit, well, let's actually go down. So if we go down like right here and control H and then I'll probably just put some trees around it just to kind of block it off from the overall neighborhood just because this would be kind of an eyesore. But the good thing with these is they don't tend to have as much. These are just transfer facilities. And so hopefully the smell wouldn't be as bad. The good thing with that is it's now going to cover this area really well. So if we go ahead and hit play, what that should do is start covering this area so now if we click on that so we have 13 garbage trucks in use which is fantastic yeah this is really going to help out a lot even getting these ones that are kind of light green because then it's just preventative it helps them to not become red and really bad so let's start looking around at some other areas so i know this area is really bad and what i was thinking is this would be a good spot over here let's so we have a land value problem over here too it's like right next to the school you'd think that they would be happy to be across the street from the school but i guess not what i was doing is thinking about this area right here so i think what we're gonna do is grab a one unit road we're going to bring this out and then let's go ahead and go out like right here as well let's um copy that on the other side that same distance so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off snapping so that i can get it out there go like this and then let's go ahead and connect that up, go like this. And then what we can do is place a waste transfer facility in here. And then let's go ahead and create some little storage. Let's make this one a little bit bigger as well. So what we can do is we'll go like this and then let's search up just some smaller little prop assets. I'm thinking a tank would be cool. 
So if we did just a couple of these, maybe, maybe something like in between that. I really like this one, but it's a, just a little too big for what we're trying to do here. Maybe we'll go like that. I think that that could be good. Yeah, you know what? I like that. And it's actually a storage facility. What I'm going to do is turn that into a procedural object so that we don't have to worry about it uh, trying to make calls or anything or any sort of notifications, which I think is better. So we'll grab this, go like that, go like this. And then let's go ahead and put in some trees around here, just kind of fill in this space a bit. Yeah, there we go. And then let's, um, we can do some rocks in here just to kind of clean it up. I don't like having this empty space. Let's do some rocks over here too. This would be a huge cost for the city, but not very realistic to have these huge rocks in there, but I, I think they look really good. That's why I like having them, especially this area. I mean, we're right next to our large modern art museum that we did that I still think looks really cool. You can kind of see how some of the props have disappeared over time. Um, I've gone back and replaced a lot of those like multiple times and they just keep deleting. I, I think it's an issue with prop and tree anarchy where um, on load sometimes you lose uh, props. And so, so we'll go ahead and bring this across. And then I think that looks good. You know, we don't need to get too crazy with it. I think overall that's going to really help out this area a lot. Let's go ahead and click on that building just to see what we're looking at. Yeah, so it's already got 11 trucks out, which is fantastic. And so we do want to make sure, so we have waste processing complex right here. And then I think we have two back here. So I think we would definitely need to get one more somewhere. Yeah, so we have one right there, one right there. Maybe if we could get one down here in our new area, I think that this could be really smart. It's kind of out of the way. It's right off the freeway, which kind of sucks. People driving in like they're going to see that. But the good thing about it is that because it is a little off to the side where we really don't have to worry about it negatively affecting the, the overall neighborhood. We'll go ahead and do a row of regular uh, industrial zoning in the, there as well, just to provide a little, you know, those goods. I think that looks pretty good. And then we could even do just a little row of offices in here to kind of fill it in. And so now we have like a little mini industrial area, which is good. But the, the better thing is that this has uh, now been taken, which is fantastic. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. And now we have definitely helped out our city quite a bit by providing that waste processing complex over here because we go in here. We didn't have any on this side of the city. We had one right there, which I completely forgot about that one. One right there and then two right here. And so now one right here and one right there. So we basically have the whole city covered. And so you can still kind of see where we still got some brown in here. We're even having some death care issues now what we should start to see is the whole city becoming a little bit better because of those new facilities so like even over here if we zoom in we should start to see some more garbage trucks kind of driving around so we got some over here do we have any oh so we got one coming up here which is fantastic yeah we got a bunch driving in here all right so i'm gonna let the game run up for a bit and see if we can get rid of all these red areas and i really what i'm looking for is for it to be quite a bit more blue than what it was all right so i let the game run for a little bit and so let's go ahead and check out our garbage coverage now so we have definitely gotten rid of a lot of the red in here. We do still have a lot of red for buildings that are maybe a little bit harder to reach, but we've solved a lot of the problems that we had. So this area is still a little bit brown, even though there is multiple trash facilities like right next to it. Um, this over here is a little bit brown. We could probably plop in just a little recycle center, center back here, and I think it would help to solve a lot of the problems. So let's go ahead and bring this back go like this and then let's go ahead and bring that down to ground level and i don't need that to be a one-way either i'm going to go ahead and change that back to a two-way so we'll go ahead and go like this and then that way what we can do is just go ahead and level out a small portion for a small little recycle center and then that should really help to alleviate some of the coverage in this area one of the tricky parts with this game though um a lot of the pathing doesn't work off of closest buildings so a lot of times a building in here will pull from a trash truck that's maybe all the way across the city and so it can be kind of frustrating sometimes but having them in the area does help out quite a bit and so we can see this one's already sending out 11 this one's sending out 11 so these are really going to help to uh, alleviate a lot of the coverage in this area and probably over here as well maybe even hit this road and so we do still have a couple red spots in here even though we placed on that new facility you can kind of see we're going through a little bit of a death wave right now um, so let's go ahead and check out our death care coverage while we're at it. So we're in death care now. And so what we're looking for, we want the buildings to be this light blue color. Any of the like darker ones, like anything like this shows that there's just a lack of coverage. So maybe like over here, we could place down something like that. Even though we have such a large death care facility right there, having the crematorium nearby does help out. And so let's go ahead and check out over here. And we're looking pretty good. I did have to uh, kind of change around the district style for this area. Um, we had started to lose a lot of the buildings. And so I went ahead and zoned it all in as I had plopped them before. And then I did a, a regular zone. 
And then I went into the district styles mod and actually created a separate district style for just the Victorian assets that we had used. And so what I'm hoping is that now they're all gonna be kind of plopped in. Though it is, it definitely changed the aesthetic of this area. But I think this looks pretty good. We can definitely um, see some electrical issues now though. Our temperature had dropped all the way down. We were all the way down into the yellow and the red. And so now what I wanna do is start focusing on a larger power plant. So if we go in here, we can see we have three of these, four of these, five of these, and then we have three geothermals. And then if we go all the way across the city, we have six geothermals over here, which I think we're gonna leave those. But what I'm thinking is maybe the power company is deciding to consolidate all of its assets. It's purchased a large piece of land over here. And so what it's gonna do is actually decommission these and then sell off the land and use the proceeds for this new nuclear power plant. All right, so what I'm thinking is we are going to go over here and the first thing we needed to do, I really wanna move this rail line. So let's go ahead and pause it real quick because we do have lines that do run down this. We have an inner city train that take this path. So we're gonna go ahead and delete it all the way down. That looks a little bit better. We'll probably come back through and maybe do some uh, key walls or something in there or even retaining walls to make it again, look a little more realistic. And so now what I'm thinking is we're going to have a road come all the way down and let's actually uh, level out our area first. So we need to be near water. I, I know that based off of a lot of the nuclear power plants that I was kind of looking at, you need what's called a cooling pond. And what it is, is it is uh, water that they use to cool the rods as they're being spent within the nuclear reactor. And so you need to be able to have uh, some sort of way to get fresh water. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little inlet that's gonna go into the nuclear power plant. And so now what we're gonna do is use this road, this four lane road with the little line in the middle. Again, I, I like the look of it, it's very industrious. So we'll go like this and then let's go to unmodded and let's curve back and then curve up here. And then what I'm gonna do is turn this into a tunnel. So we're going to go underground now and then let's come up this way. Let's make sure that snapping is on so that we can line it up with this road when we come back this way. So we'll go like this and then let's go ahead and line it up. Go like right there and then let's go above ground. And so now what we need to do is using the slope tool, we're gonna hold shift, we're gonna go underground and we're gonna make sure that this is level because I really don't want that to be any sort of crazy uh, difference in there. You can kind of see that <clears throat> the tunnel entrance is on a really big drop. So what we're gonna do is just drop that down, make it again a little bit better. So our tunnel's a little bit above ground right here, which is not ideal. So we'll go ahead and turn this into a ground piece, ground piece, ground piece. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Having it all underground just wasn't gonna be level and so it, it definitely didn't look as good. Now that we have this, um, I did end up getting some assets off the Steam Workshop for nuclear power plants. There was a there's a whole set by Ronnie X69 for a nuclear power plant. And it's actually really cool, it's a modular set. So it really allows you to kind of build what you want. So we're going to use some of these. We're probably going to do two of these cooling towers and then we're going to have some pipes coming in and we're going to really make it look cool. That's that's really my objective here. And so the first thing we need to do is get the main building. So we want to put this in an area that's going to make sense. So I'm thinking probably somewhere back here. Let's go ahead and grab a two unit road and we need it to come off at more of a 90 degree angle this curved road is is not the best pick for this area right now so we'll grab this and then what we'll do is we'll come down here and then we'll have this curve back in and what i'm thinking is we will be able to fit this right in the middle there that's what i'm hoping let's go ahead and play around with this and see if we can get it to fit maybe um bringing this road back just a little bit. That way we have enough room to be able to put this building in here and also probably some supporting buildings in the back. And that's one of the cool things with these. So like this right here is um, another nuclear kind of reactor facility. It's kind of funny, it only has seven megawatts of power. But I, I really like the look of them and I like that it kind of fits into this building too. So I wanna get a couple of these and then we're gonna do a couple of the bigger ones as well. And so they also come with these little pipes and stuff so you can really connect all these buildings up and make them look just really cool so what we'll do let's go ahead and put this like right there and then let's have a road come off and then let's put one of the big cooling towers right there it does look like we need to take out a little bit more of our hillside and so that way what we can do is bring this road out just a little bit more and then slide this over which i think is going to be a little bit better rather than having that right next to that but maybe you guys know more than i do so if any of you guys know uh, how the layouts for these are supposed to be go ahead and let me know in the comments down below i was looking at a lot of um a few nuclear facilities on google earth and so i was kind of like playing around seeing like, all right you know what should we do so we'll go ahead and place that right there 
I think these are supposed to be close to those, but again, I'm not entirely certain. So we'll go ahead and place this right there. And then it looks like that's a little garage. So we want to go like that. So if we go like that and then bring this over, what we can do is grab this building and put it in the middle. I don't know again if this is uh, entirely accurate, but we're going to come back through and connect these up with pipes and stuff and make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to do another row of these fans off this backside, and I think we have to kind of extend it out just a little bit further. So we'll grab this, go this way, and then bring it back. And I think that's just a little bit too far, but what we can do is just move it with Move It Mod. So we'll grab this, go ahead and put that right there, go all the way down, and we did five. So now we'll use the Move It Mod, grab all of these, and then I'm gonna grab all of these nodes as well, just so that we can slide it forward a little bit. So now we have a nice little facility. We have the garage facility. We have these two reactors with this whole middle building. Then we have this building, the main building, kind of wish that this was a little bit closer to these ones, but maybe um, we'll just have those pipes come through here and kind of clean it up a little bit. Then I went ahead and got some substation uh, buildings as well, because we definitely want to get a couple of these in here. So we, this would be for transferring the power. And I think it's going to help it make help to make it look a little more realistic. So maybe we'll actually do that on this side. So we will grab our road now. Let's bring this back. Let's go ahead and go straight and then let's curve this down. That looks okay. I kind of want to straighten out this road. So what I'm going to do is delete these and then redraw this in so that we can be at a better angle than that. Yeah, we'll go like this and then bring it across. There we go. And then that way what we can do is grab our little substation. Then basically what I'm going to do is do like a row of these and then I'll do a smaller row on the other side and have the wires connect up to them. All right. And so I got this little substation in. I got some wires going out and this is something that I remember from uh, Hoover Dam just outside of Las Vegas. You have a ton of these wires kind of going out and so I thought it would look a little bit cooler. This one for some reason doesn't want to connect up so it's just giving us that notification which kind of sucks but I think it overall looks really cool. So now what I want to do is start working on this little water inlet and then I really want to get some uh, road decals down and stuff make it look cool. I'll probably end up doing a detailing time lapse to kind of bring all this together. Um, but overall I think this looks really cool already. So I want to get this probably about like right there. And then what I'm thinking, we'll probably have to use key walls just to kind of smoothen it out. So we will grab this simple city key fenceless. We'll bring this down and then let's go ahead and bring this up. Probably go like right there, go there and then bring this down again and then come back. And then we need to do a little inlet. And these are tricky whenever you're doing keys so close together because it doesn't want to read they'll end up putting the land in, in between them. And so you really gotta be careful. All right, so now that we have this, what, I, what we can do is go through here. Let's actually check how much electricity we're producing. So we are producing 2,534 megawatts, which is a lot. So let's actually open up our electricity panel and see what we're working with. So we have a huge excess. Let's go through and start deleting all these. And again, they would use this, the proceeds from these to help fund the new project. So we're going to go all the way through here. And I think on the next episode, we're going to come back through here and kind of redevelop a lot of these areas. So I think even with those, we're still in a huge excess. Let's see if we have any other power plants kind of scattered around other than those. So our waste processing complexes do generate electricity. Yeah, so it looks like just these are going to be the big generators. And let's see how much electricity those generate. So about 80 each. So one, two, three. So we have about 500 megawatts that we're producing over here. So even with those gone, which I'm surprised it hasn't dropped down more, we just got rid of quite a bit. But even with those, we're in a, we're in a pretty good surplus. And so now what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. I'm probably going to place down some warehouses to fill up these little areas. And then I think I'm going to fill all this in with concrete. And I want to do some decals and stuff, really kind of fill these in. I'll probably even get rid of this road right here and then just fill it in with concrete, do some pipes going across and then fill these up with pipes and stuff and really make it look cool. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys on the other side.
Okay, so after many, many hours, I am finally complete. And it's kind of funny, this one definitely snowballed as well. So I started placing down decals and buildings, and I started melding buildings together, and then I started placing down pipes, and, and it just kept going and going. And I kept looking on Google Maps at like Three Mile Island and Indian Creek up in New York. So I decided to first off cover our little water inlet. There is still water coming this way so that it's kind of functional. But this was something that I saw from the Indian Creek uh, nuclear power plant up in New York. They had a water inlet like this so that it basically gets taken up into the nuclear power plant. And I don't know if they, you know, put it back in or what they do with it afterwards. Um, but I ended up putting in a couple little water treatment buildings over here. And then I did like a few storage facilities. Like I did a big storage thing over here. There a lot of the nuclear power plants I was looking at were kind of sporadic. You know, they weren't very clean. They were kind of dirty and disheveled, but a lot of them had these, uh, you know, do not block kind of stripes everywhere. So I really wanted to get those in to as many places as I could. And so I felt like it was just going to look a little more real, especially with the pipes and everything. Like you wouldn't want anybody to obviously block these or drive into them. And so you can kind of see some rogue rocks that are just being left around. And it's because of uh, prop anarchy, like I'm, I have it off. And so the rocks just appear. <laughs> Ended up doing a parking lot. I did these three huge boiler facilities. So these are actually pumping out heated water to our city. So now we're not going to be as dependent on electricity. That's kind of funny. We now have a, a huge surplus, but I really like this. I think that this looks fantastic. And so go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.